Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're still in quarantine, and uh, I've been looking for things to pass the time, so I went up to my attic and looked at some of my old childhood games. I found some gems, and not just games, by the way, I, I found some other treasures too. But we're gonna take a look at those games and see what made me the way I am. I tried to play these ones, they're a PC genius, but they're on floppy disk and they wouldn't work, but we know PC genius didn't make me a genius, so we'll see where the damage came from. I guess. Okay, we got Laura's The Happy Adventure. I know what you're saying is like, oh, did, did your sister have that one? Did, did your sister play that one? And maybe you watched her like play it? No, it was, it was mine. <laughs> Look, there was a reason, okay? Hype the Time Quest was my all-time favorite childhood game, and it was a Playmobil game, so I bought all the other ones too. This one wasn't as good. <laughs> We're gonna try it anyway. I'd also like to point out that on the back, it says that your child will develop IT skills, which obviously isn't true. That didn't work at all. Uh, memory recognition, uh, that, that might have worked. And uh, IT skills, which obviously didn't work because I couldn't get these to work. Write your name on the line. Oh god, this game is hard. K... I... V... Yeah, that looks right, okay. <laughs> it even looks like my handwriting. I think this is going at approximately three frames per second, by the way. <laughs> oh, what the shit, Laura, what are you doing? Wow! Look at that! Laura's high as shit. I don't remember any of this. Thanks for setting me free. Oh my god! Satan has contacted her. I'd like to start bringing luck again. Especially to help you, Laura. Okay, this thing is 100% evil. <laughs> like, this is like a Voldemort Horcrux or something. All you have to do to make me sparkle is kill your parents, Laura. You need to kill them to make me sparkle. Okay then. Pleasing people around me. Oh, I'm not good at making people happy, but I'll try, Laura. I'll try for the demon gem. You can pick up certain objects and put them in your rucksack. Oh, can I pick up the baby and stuff it in there? <laughs> I'll make air holes. Kill her, Laura. Kill her. It will make me sparkle. All right, let's go out into the big open world. Even her run is like, Jesus Christ, it does a little skip and a hop. Jesus Christ, this does not seem safe. All right, I'm going in. <laughs> what have you got for me? Come in, my dear Laura. I'm... Already inside. <laughs> I don't know how to interact with this lady. I will tell you your fortune in exchange for an exotic feather. What? That seems a bit unusual. Where am I supposed to get that? I should also add, when I played this as a child, I got really stuck on the game, and it was because a lot of the items just didn't spawn in, as well as people's faces and skin. <laughs> they were just floating clothes. Don't just smell a child like that! Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? Hello, Laura! Oh, no, thank you. I'll never talk to you again. A mushroom. You've already been eating them, it's quite clear. You're talking to rocks. That is assault. <laughs> You're going down, bucko. You know, I don't think I was supposed to leave the house yet. I can't find, like, anything to do. <laughs> Maybe this was it. This was just the game. You play as a little girl and that's it. You can climb up or down ladders. Yeah, this thing's 100% evil. It's trying to get a child to climb up on the roof using a ladder. <laughs> Laura. You're sensible and reliable enough to look after your little sister, Elise. I'm like seven. <laughs> you were an irresponsible parent, but you know what? Whatever. I got nothing else going on, Mom, to be honest. <laughs> There's none left in the kitchen. You'll have to get some in town. Oh, for feck's sake. I gotta go shopping and everything. Do you realize what age I am? Like, are you trying to get me kidnapped? Oh, I hear crying again. No, I'm going out to get food. It can keep crying for a while. She immediately just skips happily out the door. <laughs> I don't think mom should have trusted me with this. What the hell do babies eat? I have no feckin' idea. Yo, you got any chicken wings? But in exchange for the baby food, I need you to do something for me. No, I would like to just pay you and leave. Gather three mushrooms for me. Fecker! Drug addict! Like, we look rich! Our house is like 15 rooms and we have a maid! I don't need to be going around gathering mushrooms for the peasants! Oh, I can jump! Okay, of course, I just had to hit Z. The standard jump button. Yes! Yes, I'm coming for you, mushroom! I'm gonna get high, finally! A mushroom! Elise must be really hungry! Probably. She was crying like crazy when we left. <laughs> I don't care about your back pain, okay? I got other things to do. <laughs> All right, your drug mule has arrived. Take your mushrooms. Here you are, Carmen. I've got your three mushrooms. Why did you need to weigh them? <laughs> yes, it is indeed three mushrooms. The scale says it right here. Oh, I hear crying again. Like we have a maid. Why isn't she taking care of the baby? <laughs> Christ, you are an ugly baby. And feckin' rude too. What was that about? Oh my god, such a f 
Okay, eat! Stuff the food in its mouth! Alright, there we saw it. Oh my god! I hate you! Baby's nappies. Oh no, no, feck that. No, 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 we're not doing that. We didn't sign up for that. I signed up to feck and feed it. Feck off, you can cry all day if you want. We're done here. Laura's happy adventure is not so happy. It's just her mom trying to make it into a happy adventure when it's really just taking care of a child. Alright, I think we've explored Laura's happy adventure enough. This was quite depressing, actually. <laughs> I had to laugh. I was looking for a guy to try and find those mushrooms. There weren't any, by the way. I guess little girls are better at games than I am. But it's all just talking about how <laughs> it's targeting little girls and all this. <laughs> Although it may be suitable for both genders. <laughs> okay, great. I feel fine now. Okay, on to the next game. All right, so this is a tough choice. We got a Treasure Cove or Treasure Mountain. Now, Treasure Cove does say new hot release, which is tempting because it's always nice to appeal to YouTube's algorithm and uh, do something new. But I do have a fear of the ocean, so I think I'm gonna go with the mountain. <laughs> I hope my computer can run this. It's a system requirements. Eight megabytes of RAM. Uh, a mouse. <laughs> That's actually under the requirements. It just says mouse. <laughs> Alright, I've already got my account set up here. I'm fecker. <coughs> oh, where's he off to? What the hell is he doing? Okay, let's feck and catch that elf. Gotcha, you little shit. Alright, what, what's my puzzle? <laughs> I'm thinking of a number between four and eight. What could it be? Now I'm starting to see why this says ages five through nine, because I don't know if I'm able for this. Wait a second. Five? through nine. It's five. We've done it. Here is your new clue word. Seven. What? That doesn't help me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, speed limit. You better be careful. <laughs> Slow down there, bucko. Wait, there's seven snails. Is that relevant? I, I don't know. Catch another one of these feckers. Oh, it's opposite. Stop is go. Yeah, small. Yeah, it's gotta be the feckin' the, the things. Okay, seven small snails. There you go. Yes! Okay, but I don't think it's what I actually need. Who even are these things? Why, why am I capturing them? I don't get it. Berries. Okay, so I need seven small berries. This noise is so obnoxious. <laughs> oh wait, are we good? Yes, I found the, the key. Now find the lock. And I find the lock, all right. I'm sick of games teaching you simple shit like this. Like why don't games teach you how to do your taxes and stuff? Like something useful. Oh good, I found the key to use the ladder on the tree. <laughs> Which makes zero sense whatsoever. Oh, got you, you little shit. Come here. Path with bath both. Pick another word with the same sound at the end. And we could play the end sounds game. Wow, that's really creative. They didn't even try with this one, did they? I can be big, I can be small. But I'm always very hard. <laughs> hmm. uh, it's obviously this... Oh, I see. I need to look for a key that unlocks the waterfall. <laughs> God knows what they were on when they made this game. I think Laura must have been sharing with them. A mushroom. Ah, here we go. This is it for sure. Yes, got my key for the waterfall. I'm out of here. Up we go. Okay. <laughs> I might get very wet. God, these elves are inappropriate. All right, finally, one that makes sense. I have a key to a door. In we go. What the hell is this shit? What the hell is going on here? Oh, I'm putting a cat in a box. Oh, no, I'm putting him down the slide. Okay. What? Okay, now I'm sliding down the slide because that dude at the window got angry. Fecker got three treasures. Is that it? Did I win? You need five treasures to become a one-star star. Ah, okay. Well, no, I'm not doing that. Thank you very much. The <laughs> prizes. It's just a cat. That's my prize? Now I have to care for a cat? I hate this. Oh, this looks like my trophy case. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. That was feckin' joy, though. That was fantastic. It made me feel really smart. Okay, now we got... Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which, uh, all right, uh, this one was my sister's. <laughs> I still played it, so it's still pretty bad. Includes the actual voices of Melissa Joan Hart. Hi, it's me. Nick Bakey, and all your favorite characters, including Wise Aunt Zelda, Flirty Aunt Hilda, Harvey, Sigh in brackets and even Libby Ugh, in brackets. I am Jim. This is your yes, first time, we're playing. Like we're playing. No, no, we're playing. Melissa Joan Hart, shut up. Ugh, in brackets, you're annoying me. What do I do? <laughs> what is the point of this game? <laughs> oh, of course. Jesus Christ. How could I have forgotten? <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, you can make a little music mix. Fantastic. <laughs> I am the black cat. It's the cat. I am the black cat. Yes. I am the black cat. Yes, yes you are. I am the black cat. Shut up, I know. I think someone had a bit of a crisis when they were making this game and the fridge it just says, what is life? Life is what? Life? <laughs> the mask is in the bedroom. What kind of kinky household is this? Okay, I got a broom, great. You should hear Aunt Zelda's stories about her old broomstick. 
You don't want to know where she used to get splinters. This is a family-friendly channel. You and the elves are trying to feck and ruin it, aren't you? You fuckers. Oh, great. My aunts. One second. Uh... You're wise and flirty, apparently. Thank you. Oh my god, look at that smile. That is demonic. The whole character is kind of demonic, to be honest. Look at that creepy smile. She's not even looking at the kids. You're not a witch. Witches are supposed to be ugly and scary. Boo. That's not scary. That was pretty fucking scary, to be honest. <laughs> This is strange. Like, the parents should be in the background there, uh, taking their kids away. <laughs> this person is clearly unstable. What if I use one of my spells here to drop? Here, take take these drops. Honestly, that is far less scary. You'd think they saw the boogie monster. The boogie monster? Oh my god. <laughs> there might be a boogie monster or boogie monsters in the house. <laughs> oh wait, I'm supposed to be looking for stuff. I see. <laughs> Ugly mask. I don't think I need the mask, personally. <laughs> You'll get Sabrina out of that mess in no time. I don't know if she's even in a mess. We're just wandering around the house collecting shit and I don't know why. Oh, is that the mask? Come on, this is the mask. Let's do it. Uh, can I just scary it up? No, not for fuck's sake. Oh wait, I did it. Okay, take it. Hey, look. An uncanny resemblance to some cheerleaders I know. Yeah, like, um, Libby. Ugh, in brackets. Who are you and how did you get in my house? Oh, wait, hold on, actually. I think you might be Harvey. Um, in brackets. Good thing he's his eyes closed because we just appeared next to him. He didn't seem to care. From now on, I'm on a pumpkin-free diet. What does that even mean? That doesn't even tie in with anything that we just did. This was horrible. I hated it. Are you sure you want to quit? Have a good one. Yes, <laughs> you too. See you, dude. All right, this is a bit of a weird one. This is called Seven Kingdoms 2. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't really know anyone who played games, so I used to just look at the back and just judge it off that. And honestly, looking at it now, I have no idea what uh, convinced me. Sorry, you can't see it too well there, but uh, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> you thought the Friathans were history, but the nightmare has just begun. <laughs> Starting to believe that. It says no two games will ever be played the same. Don't say we didn't warn you, which I don't really understand, but at least they warned me. I can't say they didn't. Kingdom of shithead. Okay, I didn't really realize it would say that when I <laughs> entered my name is that. It's just how I felt at the time. Right, make it as hard as possible. I want six enemies against me, and I am a Celtic boy. I think this is like a, a bargain bin version of like Age of Emperors or something. <laughs> God, we're very diverse. I've got a Mongol soldier here, a, a Celt soldier, a Persian soldier, a Viking soldier, an Egyptian soldier. Let's just make loads of men. We're going to war. Keep collecting tax. Collect all the tax we can. Wait, what? Ten peasants in Shithead's kingdom are rebelling. Collect more tax, quick! Slaughter them if we have to. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> there we go. I got more of an army now. On surround the village. We're gonna keep collecting taxes and build a war factory while you're at it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> all I know is we need to tax these people. Wait, I'm being attacked. What the hell? I just had a rebellion. Can you give me a break? <laughs> oh my god, they're fucking huge. I thought that the frying hints were history, but the nightmare has just begun. Oh, for feck's sake, there's loads of them. And the peasants are rebelling again. Is now the best time? Now you see aliens coming over the hill and you're like, you know what? I'm sick of these taxes. <laughs> I'm rebelling. Your king shithead has been slain. He deserved it. He was a bit of a shithead anyway. My war factory is done though, so that's that's great. Oh, I can't make anything. Probably because I have zero people. The humans have lost. <laughs> the great shithead is slain, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know where we went wrong. Honestly, I taxed them as much as I possibly could. <sighs> could that have been an error? No, it's the people who are wrong. All right, well, I think that's enough terrible childhood games for one day. I think I gotta rate Laura's Happy Adventures the best one. I think if we finished with this, we would have been amazed with it. But if I realized the bar was so damn low, then I think I would have appreciated it more. <laughs> I wanted to find my other one of these too. I had Alex Bills's farm, which that was a good one. You gotta milk the cows and everything. It was fantastic. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I know a bit of an odd one, but I'm just trying to keep it fresh and come up with new ideas and stuff to do. <laughs> Which is difficult sometimes. <laughs> no, but I like doing stuff different like this. And it gives me a bit of a nostalgia trip, even though it, the games were pretty feckin' awful. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching, as always, folks. I hope you're staying safe, given the state of the world at the moment. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.